broke my computer. Hey guys, I'm here breaking Jess's computer at Smith. Um, there's Jess. Hi. Look, I'm here because I love her and it's fall break, so I'm here. Look what I did today. Nope. You can't. <laughs> this is not. Hold your head still. <laughs> this is not. Hold your head. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I got my eyebrow pierced, kind of. I mean, not kind of, I did, but, like, never mind. Spur um, of the moment. Spur of the moment decision, but I did it. Influenced by me. Influenced by Jess. Um, anyways, the topic this week is, do you think it's beneficial to be surrounded by LGBT people or to live predominantly in this environment, or can this be harmful? The answer is no. It is not beneficial. You need a good mix of all sorts of different people because what happens when you're in just a group of LGBT people is you sleep with all of them, and then you have a lot of drama and depression. Do you know how I know this? Because I did it. <laughs> Because I did it. And it was great. Really. The best. I think it's important to... No, like, in all seriousness, I think I think it's important to have a... Um, hey, wait. Why is this light still on? Do you see that? That means that my computer's been hacked. Do it doesn't mean that. Happening? It means turn your computer off and turn it back on. It means my computer's hacked. Okay, buddy. <laughs> um, great. Um. Anyway, I think it's important to... Wait, remove them. Down. No, just closed already it's done i think it's important to have oh these ones mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, sorry <laughs> i think it's really important to have like a community a queer community wherever you are but i think that it can be really detrimental if that's all you have um i think it's important to have a not if that's all you have it can if it's all you have that's awesome but to like be around it all the time sometimes you need to be alone or be with other people. I just I, I think that it can be unhealthy to just be around people who are like that all the time. Um, just because you need kind of a mix and there's a lot of drama and incest kind of associated with that community. That because is, he, you you don't okay, can I add something? Um in my community Yeah, there definitely <laughs> there is some incest. A hundred percent does not have to be you don't have to sleep with everybody. That is That was your personal choice. You don't have to do that. You can have a really healthy... I mean, I'm not saying obviously... I still don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, obviously. I think obviously, you still need a mix but, of people, but, but okay, it, that's my experience. The reason Just shouldn't be different. because you will sleep with everybody because that was your personal choice, and I choose not to sleep with everybody, and I never had that problem in Right, but community. you still have a different group of friends. You still hang out with people outside the community, and it's healthy. No, I'm saying if you were in that com – if I were in that community, I would be fine because I wouldn't sleep with everybody. You are in that community. No, I'm not. You're not in the gay community? I mean <laughs> – I'm 90% sure that you are. I don't mean – I mean, I am in the gay community, but I'm not, like, surrounded only by gay people ever. Right, that's what I'm saying. We are saying the same thing. Except I'm saying that you don't have to sleep with everybody. Right, but we're saying the same thing about being in the community. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Hope that was helpful, guys. Basically, just have a healthy mix of people. Um, don't stay in the same group of people all the time, ever, no matter what group that is, whether that's, like, a racial group or a sexual orientation group or a religious group. You always need to have a different group of people, in my opinion. Also, if you could live in any country outside of the U.S., which country would it be? A.K.A. if Romney wins, where are you moving to? Um, Spain. I'm going to Spain. I'm going to transfer to the University of Barcelona. And I'm going to go there. That's the plan. Jess thinks I should just go to Canada because it's much simpler. But I think Spain would be a lot more fun. Oh, Britt, if you're watching this, I'm coming to Canada over spring break. Um, so, yeah, we should hang out. Where are you going? I'm going to be in Toronto. With who? My friends. From here? Mm-hmm. You're just going to Toronto to hang out? Yeah, because the drinking age is 19 and the, that, or 18 or something, that is my age, so. <laughs> we don't do stuff like that because we're minors and. So we have to go to Canada to do it. We don't do it here, so we do it in Canada. <laughs> yep. There you go. Good advice. Good advice. Uh, see you guys next week.